Hey everyone, Josh here again from Dust City Designs and we are working on the $3 bear project where we take a $3 children's toy and turn it into a wireframe work of art. So what we need to do now, we've just cleaned up our model in 1-2-3-D catch and now we need to put it into 1-2-3-D make so we can actually start making this wood form that we're eventually going to build the exoskeleton around. So go and open up 1-2-3-D make. We're going to open up that OBJ file that we had earlier of our bear. You can see now how they um, how the program actually kind of healed it. The feet are now closed up um, without having any color on it. You can actually see how well the capture was from one two three D catch. It really is a great program. We need to change his height though. We want a really big bear. He was about eight point six inches, and now we're going to move him up to seventy two inches. Now we need to go in and we need to tell the program how big our cutting area is on our CNC machine. So we're going to rename this file. All right, and now we need to go tell it the length and the width of our uh, CNC bed. We're going to go and put 95 and then 47. Technically, our bed is 96 by 48, but I like to have a little bit of extra breathing room and not have things quite pushed to the edge. Right here, we've got our material thickness. We're going to put that in at 0.48, and then we're also going to put in our tool diameter. Um, by putting in that tool diameter, it's actually going to offset some of these pieces so they're not sitting on top of each other. Now that we've saved that, we're going to go in. We're going to select that. So now it knows exactly what size of our board is and how to make to make all the slots. Now we're going to go down here and click interlocking slices. And we're going to go to our first axis. These are all the horizontal pieces. And we really want to put a bunch of these in here. We're going to go for about 33 um, just to get a really good form out of it. It's going to give us our guide. Um, and then we're going to mess with our second axis. We're going to bump that up a little bit. As you can see, those are our um, vertical pieces. So we're also kind of looking over here on the right. We've got um, a board telling us, you know, how many sheets of plywood we're going to have to use, how many parts we have. Um, you know, we just want to be conscious of how much wood we're using. We don't want to use too much wood, and we're trying to kind of maximize our wood. So we're kind of playing with those settings and tweaking them back and forth a little bit. We also need to change our slice direction. As you can see in the face, we don't really get that much detail, and that's one of the high detail places. So just by moving this 90 degrees, you can actually see it now. The uh, face and the ears are formed out a little bit better. The um, hands and arms are done out a little bit better. Um, all in all, it looks pretty good at this size. As you can see, it's not going to be perfect, uh, especially as an object of this size. But we're just trying to get a good general guide so we can start building that cage around it here soon. So we're just kind of looking, checking all of our details, making sure there's nothing really missing that maybe we want to stand out a little bit more. Uh, we're definitely have to use our imagination in some of the places around the face and the ears, but it's okay. Adds a little extra creativity to it. So now that that's done, we can actually go down here and we can see our assembly directions. Uh, this is actually going to show us how the bear is assembled together. Um, my bear didn't quite go through this way. We kind of had to tweak some stuff a little bit just because it was plywood and so big and heavy. If you were working on a smaller model, you could probably do this pretty easily. Um, but for us, we ended up having to put another piece on the other side and then suspend it from the ceiling. But shows you how everything goes together and shows you where the parts are coming off of the boards as well. All right, so once that all looks pretty good, we're going to go down here and we're going to click on the get plans. All right, so this is going to show us all of our boards right now. We're going to go and select DXF, and we're going to tell it to export. It's actually going to export this as a zip file with all these pieces already in there. They do; they are all labeled and everything, so you want to be really conscious of that. We are going to have to label everything when we cut this out on the CNC machine to save us some time. So let's go ahead and save that zip file in whatever folder you want. Give it a name, and then click OK. And that's how we get our file. Uh, thanks for watching. Next, we're going to go and start looking at how we build this stuff and put it into Kanban so we can make some G code. Thanks for watching.